YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. It's the day before Mother's Day. I'm trying to get some cleanup done around the yard here. I've had a couple of big maple logs sitting around. Want to get these cleaned up and cut up. Got the rest of the oak and ash loaded in the truck to take over to the storage shed. And yeah, I'm just dancing the pansy to get to it. Been excited. Right now it's kind of a crummy day, but nice cool day. So a little bit better for pushing this sawmill around. So let's do it. All right, for those of you new to the channel, I run a Woodmiser LT10. So I picked up this maple from a friend near where I got some property at. They had a big maple cut down. So the way I'm going to go about this one is, you know, there's probably going to be a decent bit of crotch figure wood in there. But the width of this mill that I can cut, I have to scalp some of this i'm not looking to get big flat slabs i'm kind of over some of that it's fun to do every once in a while but honestly i mostly just want the nice figured wood so i'm going to scalp a little bit of that off get it to the thickness that this mill can handle and i'm going to see also what it's looking like in there um if once i do that i'm going to flip it on its side so as we cut across the other way we'll get some of that crotch figure in the wood so yeah let's get to it All right, got my son Porter here helping me. Go ahead and push that off there, bud. Be careful, put the blade down. There you go, bud. Here, I'll grab this and pull this off. Like I said, we're just scalping this. We're gonna go ahead and get this log turned sideways. Blade will do funny things, especially with that. Actually, it stayed pretty level. All right, yeah, I'm going to get this log turned over and then cut it again. Actually, I'm going to cut this thing one more time, get it a little more level, so... All right, buddy, give it a push again. Nice. What are we looking at? All right, we'll get it flipped over so we can get some of that good wood going. All right, so I should specify, normally you'd flop this thing over to the cut face and cut the other side, but I get a little aggressive and this mill's technically cutting kind of a lot bigger log than it really should almost have on there. 
So once I get it up like that, I gotta come in and lance off this side now to make sure that it's the right thickness. So when I flip it over again, that it'll actually feed past. So just gonna cut off this top side, especially with this, this knot sticking out. So we'll cut that up and then give her a good flip. All right, bud, go ahead and take it off again. Good job, bud. Muscles. Muscles. You're getting cocky over there. <laughs> All right, let's get her flipped over again. All right, we still got to flip it one more time, but go ahead and give it the push, bud. I'm wiping it off. Here. Well, that one's just getting tossed, so go ahead. Okay. Nice. Now we're getting into a little bit better stuff, huh, bud? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's get it flipped one more time and then start slabbing. Hand, buddy. Hold on, buddy. Don't pull that back over yet. We're going to have to put the smaller dogs in. Oh, why? So we don't end up hitting them with the blade. Grab the other one, it's up there. Okay. Can you grab that other one? Thanks, bud. I can tell you haven't used it. Yeah, usually we're using the bigger ones, huh? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, give it the big push, bud. There you go. Watch it doesn't kick around. There you go. Gotta give it a little lower, huh? Yeah. Okay, we'll see how the next cuts look.
This will be a little bit heavier. Watch so you don't slip and hit the sawmill. I don't want you getting hurt, bud. Yeah, now we're getting into some more meat and potatoes. All right, obviously still not looking at a whole lot here yet, but these next couple, I think we'll really start getting into some nicer stuff. But this is really nice. You think so, bud? Yeah. Nice. All right, well, let's keep cutting. All right, bud, you ready to move this one? Just be careful you don't slide. Here, let me help you, buddy. Child labor laws, right? <laughs> Whoa. Awesome. This is nice. Yeah, these next ones, buddy, we're gonna start getting into the, the interior wood. It'll all right, ready to do the next one? No, this is even better. What is it, bud? This is even better than this. This is awesome. Sure is. It's awesome that you helped me so much, bud. Okay, ready? I wasn't. I was lifting. Okay, scoot oh, it over. Okay, let's get a look at this one. We're still not quite there yet. Ready? Getting there. Here, bud, you hold this bone. You go like this. Watch your fingers. You guys gotta pick this up. How do we think about this one, buddy? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah? I think once we get to the next one, I think we'll scrape it off and give it a water throw, okay? okay. Now you can see this next one will definitely get more into the heartwood of it. Starting to see some of the little creature features popping through. The quarter's already getting antsy in the pantsy and give it a little scrape. Good job, bud.
All right, this one should get into some of the really good stuff in here. Then I'm gonna have to flip it anyways and lower my dogs down so that I don't hit it with the blade. All right, buddy, let's give it a pull. Let's pull it towards the sawdust pile so it drops onto this. Watch your toes. But I don't want it to drop onto the sawdust pile yet. I'm gonna move it. Here, Bubby, I just, we, here. Watch your fingers. All right, we'll get Porter to scrape this up. Scrape it all the way down. There you go, buddy. Something's caught it. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I was hoping to get into right in here. Some of this stuff. That's going to be nice. Got a lot of good grain stuff going on where this limb came out. This next one will look really good. But like I said, we'll go ahead and get this flipped off, flipped over. We'll save that best part for last. Get this lowered down.
All right, you can tell that worked out perfect. Cut right through the pith of this tree. Have a little bit of deflection on some of these knots, but for the most part, it's pretty minimal. Let's go ahead and get these things laid over and get a look at the grains. All right, it's super hard telling. It's maple, so blonde, it's hard really telling. But uh, yeah, this is gonna give us some great grains. Obviously, like I said, with this lighting, it's probably really hard to see, but let's throw some water on it, see if it brings it to life a little. All right, that helped a decent bit. Let's get a look at these. All right, YouTube, that was a nice little quick video on, well, now I definitely can't see with that lighting. There we go. <laughs> I'm cutting up that piece of maple. Um, all right, YouTube, thanks again. It was, I love getting to do these projects with my son. Probably gonna try and almost book match these two end ones together. Maybe make a table with it in a couple of years or if we get them killed and dried. But um, yeah, super pumped. Mill was running great. Had a little bit of, bit of blade deflection with uh, the big elbows that are in there. So everything went smooth though. But um, yeah, we'll look forward to it on the next one. And uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon.